Guys, I just wanted to explain the whole mail-in ballots thing, kind of talk about it, you know, try and smooth over some things here and and really uh, understand what's going on in this country. We know Donald Trump is prepared to go into a multi-week legal battle with Joe Biden over the mail-in ballot situation. I want to give my take on it. I think I know how most of America feels. We're going to talk about that. But guys, when it comes to the mail-in ballots, this is what I'm going to say. Um, number one, I am not accusing Joe Biden or the Democrats of, of anything. Not right now. Not at all. What I'm saying is you take a look at the way the mail-in ballots are counted. It is very easy, one would think, to manipulate certain data in those mail-in ballots. And I think the key for Donald Trump and his investigators will be looking into the margins that Joe Biden wins the mail-in ballots in a state like Michigan, in a state like Wisconsin. He's winning these states at such small mar margins. And by the way, Trump won those, you know, those states at very small margins too back in 2016. You know, Jill Stein wanted a recount in Wisconsin in 2016. Now Trump wants one in 2020. Obviously, it's a little bit different in 2020 with more people voting by mail. Guys, I know lo the logistics make sense with the Democrats being more scared of the coronavirus, so they're going to outnumber Repu Republicans with mail-in ballots. Most of America, what we're pissed about is this whole idea where it's like, you go to bed when, on, you know, you go to bed last night. I didn't go to bed, but if someone went to bed last night, you would think Trump would win pretty easily, right? And and again, the votes weren't all in, but you're looking at Florida. It's a, it's a very impressive win. No one thought Florida would be a three-point win for Trump. Um, you, you've got a state like Pennsylvania who's heavily trending towards Trump. I know there were Democratic areas still to count. I understand that. Wisconsin was trending towards Trump. Uh, Michigan was. And it's like, oh, we just found a bunch of mail-in ballots. And it says Biden won. Yay. Like that whole idea. That's ridiculous. It's like, they, oh, we found more mail-in ballots. It's like, if I'm Trump, right now I heard the current average, and I don't know if this is true. This all needs to be investigated for the American people. I heard the current average when they, when they receive a mail-in ballot, 70% of the time, it's Biden's vote. 30% of the time it goes to Trump. So 70 to 30, that's nationwide. And it varies a little bit. But if I'm Trump and you find a state like Wisconsin where it's 80-20 or 82 to 18, you've got a legitimate problem there. Because now you're talking about manipulating votes. Now you're talking about something called voting genesis. I'm sure Democrats know what I'm talking about there, right? Voting genesis. Yeah, we won't get into it. I don't want to talk about conspiracy theories, but um, there's some certain things going on right now that... Um, are really interesting. And if you're Trump and your investigators look into the margins, the Democrats are winning these um, mail-in ballots by because there's a swath of them. And again, maybe it's, the margins are 70-30. Maybe they're 70-30 across the board. That's fine. I have no issue with admitting Joe Biden's the next president. I did my last video. I admitted he was the next president. I'm saying Americans, this whole thing feels cheap. Does it not feel cheap? The idea that we're just finding all these mail-in ballots and now we're counting them and now we're saying, oh my God, Joe Biden was down by 15 points in Pennsylvania for 20 hours, but now he's up because we just found 300,000 mail-in ballots and 99% of them went to Joe Biden. I'm not saying that's the case, but I mean, this is ridiculous, folks. It's a little ridiculous, is it not? I'm not trying to start any conspiracy theories. I'm not trying to say anything. It's a little ridiculous that this is happening and that's why Trump's upset. And now on Twitter, Trump can't even twin anything without Twitter saying, oh, that's disinformation. Guys, I've said Twitter censors people all the time. It's really, it's, what is with Twitter? What, Trump can't tweet that he thinks the, that the election's rigged or something? Like, that's his opinion. Like, so again, again, guys, it's so, social media is so ridiculous. The First Amendment is obviously doesn't even come close to applying it to social media. Like, what is Trump tweeting that's so bad? People like think this is like, this is terrible. If I'm an, if I'm a candidate, and I'm watching the election slip out from under my hand because a bunch of mail-in ballots, people are like, oh, we're going to count mail-in ballots. And now, no, the mail-in ballots should count. I agree. But the way this is happening, you can tell it's, Trump is pissed about this. I would be too. Any candidate would be. The way this is happening, the way Trump is losing to where it's like, he was winning all night. He was winning. He was winning. Now we got a bunch of mail-in ballots and oh, shocker, Joe Biden takes the lead in Michigan. And it's just the whole way it's happening. It feels cheap. Does it not feel cheap? We need an investigation. Um, we need to see the margins, the actual proofs on margins. We co compare a state like Wisconsin with a very close, you know, vote difference, 20,000 votes. Compare the, the mail-in ballot margin 
Is it 70, 30? Is, is it, you know, it, I know statewide it's around 70, 30. Is it consistently 70, 30 in the swing states or is it 80, 20 in a state like Wisconsin? Now Biden's winning 80% of the mail-in ballots because they realized they were going to lose. So they pumped the numbers up. Guys, it's so easy to manipulate these mail-in ballots. It's not even funny. It's so easy. I mean, I see, you know, you see these people, they show the, the ballot stations. I'm just looking at these ballot stations. Oh my God. They're all ripe for just complete, I mean, you can, it, fraudulent activity. I'm sorry, but they are. You look at them. They're just, I, I always hate when they show the, ma- this, the, the, um, the ballot counting because it just looks so like there's so much fraudulent activity. Maybe I'm just being uh, scared. Maybe I'm just being, um paranoid about it that that's the right word paranoid maybe i'm being paranoid about it but either way guys i've admitted joe biden has won um i have nothing against admitting that we need to make sure this is legitimate and donald trump is going to do that trump needs to calm down this is all going to get found out look at the mail in ballot difference i know people were talking about trump earlier tweeted out about a little glitch where one county didn't count votes it looked it looked like biden got a bunch of votes where trump got zero it was a glitch in a county, apparently, so that turned out to be nothing. I'm talking about the actual difference, right? So in, in the mail-in ballot score, so if, you know, we got to see if there's a difference. Is Biden winning Wisconsin mail-in ballots 80 to 20? Is he winning statewide 70 to 30? Is there a difference? And if there is, there's obviously some correlation to fraudulent activity, 